hello 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 welcome to the channel this is Alfred today we will be talking about chat.openai.com let me open up this so this is sort of what we will go through um, learning this is essentially an AI program that will answer almost all your questions so let's let me go to new chat as you can see it shows you some kind of example of what to ask it so explain quantum computing you could ask it and it will do a really good job explaining quantum computing its capabilities and it shows you some of the limitations for example may occasionally produce harmful instructions or bias content so you don't want to take everything that it says or every answer that it gives you may occasionally generate error so it's showing you all the so pretty cool right so right now i have a couple exercise that we'll be doing and one of the exercises is actually one of the questions from a, a project that i found online so it gives you about five different um, exercises to do to tackle in arduino so we will have um, open ai answer this question for us but um, let's go ahead and do this first task that we have. So as you can see, let's see. So as you can see, they, we are, they are experiencing like really high, exceptionally high demand. So it, it will be, when, when this is happening, it gets super slow. So let's see if it works for us. Look at that. So as you can see, it, it's printing out our, the answer to our question and uh, you really don't need to really know how to program in Arduino and you could get this you know, solid information with comments as well. It said the baud rate and everything. So it's, this is really cool. And uh, over here, one thing that I really like about it is that it will still explain it to you. So you, you could literally learn how to code using this um, software. So it, it, uh, it prints this message to serial monitor. You will need to connect to your Arduino, open serial. We, do, we don't we know this, but go ahead and read through it. It just tells you exactly what it's doing and what you need to do to you know, see this in action. So the next thing that we need to do is um, let's go ahead and type in this. So sometimes you want to build an Arduino circuit for blinking LED. Um, when I when, when when I checked this, I was hoping that it would literally draw the circuit diagram, but uh, it it did not. Let me see what it does this time. Uh, Here we go. So it basically tells you how, how what is necessary, the parts that are necessary to make this happen in Arduino. And it, it will also write the code for you. And uh, connect the circuit as followed. Upload the following sketch. This is the setup. So this code will run once. This does the pin 13. So you don't necessarily need to connect anything. It will use the pin 13. Then it just blinks and delays set to high delay set to low delay and delay then over here it's essentially telling you uh once the sketch has been uploaded the led should start blinking and uh, for this pin pattern that's literally the arduino it will be in the arduino board the led that on the arduino board so you don't need extra extra parts like this so um or you could and just just make the connection like it has instructed you know so let's move on to the next one so we know that we, we know that this works we know that this works we don't need to um, show it let's move on to the next exercise that we need or an assignment you know you want to build um set the baud rate to 9600 and say hello world so this i will actually show you um what it does we'll, we'll try to reproduce it in code so 
uh, over the assignment says you are required to make five programs with each completing the following following task each one should set a baud rate to a certain value and then output the specific string and then output the time it takes to complete the function make sense so we want to up, output this and also the time it took to 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 complete this function i believe i have written a little bit of it here so set the baud rate to um, this value display hello world and the, the time it took for the program to run this is this is going to be fun this is a little complex you know let's see let's go back to our open ai let's go ahead and remove this and let's go ahead and run this i am interested to see what it does this time because i know what it did the last time I'm interested if it okay, yeah, that's kind of like what it did the last time. So made a variable for the start time. This, this is literally doing your homework or your assignment for you and giving you explanation on how it came out. It came about it. So the serial print, serial print, yep, yeah, that makes sense. It says hello world, new line. That makes sense. So every single line. Yeah, okay. We'll see how that looks. This code will print hello world to the serial monitor every second along with a lapse time in seconds, blah blah blah. Yep, so let's go ahead and test this out. I have I have my Arduino Uno connected. Let's copy this code and let's go to my Arduino Uno. Let's go ahead and create a new a new sketch obviously if you have your Arduino Uno you can go ahead and open it then go ahead and select all delete and paste all the generated code by OpenAI so I am just going to go ahead and upload this code and see what it does done uploading okay let's go ahead and go to serial monitor and monitor it Elapsed time zero seconds. Hello, what elapsed time two seconds, six seconds, eight seconds. Hmm, it looks like we might have a bug. So it's it's not it's not um resetting the time, so it just keeps it just keeps increasing. Yeah, it just keeps increasing. So, I mean, this, this is giving you some kind of output, which is, it might be what you need, but for what, uh, the way I have this assignment in my head, I believe we want to see how long it took to execute this. Uh, we don't necessarily need to keep track of it. So, um, you know what, let's see if, let's see if OpenAI will fix it. Let's see if it will fix it um i did not see that okay uh, reset reset elapsed time for each loop let's see if let's see if you fix it And he know this is this is cool. He knows he, re, he almost read my mind. He knew exactly what I was what I was looking for. And let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, I was I was wondering if he, if he, if he forgot what I was asked, what I was asking initially. So he, he read my mind. He knew exactly that I was still talk, talking about my initial questions. All right, so let's see where where did it reset it. So interesting. I wouldn't have done it this way. Store the current time. Store the current time. Okay. Oh, okay. So every so this is where it resets it. Reset the time for the next loop. Interesting. I wouldn't have done this this way. I would have. Had coded it to like uh, zero or something, but 
that is cool all right so let me go ahead and go back here delete paste and upload it let's see how this works and right now it's showing in seconds i think i would rather have this in milliseconds because this hello world should do, shouldn't be taking too long to do so right here yep so right now it's resetting it so right now it's looking like it's every second so let's go back to open ai and tell it to um display seconds in millisecond display display elapsed time in milliseconds let me use abbreviation let's let's see if it knows what, what i'm talking about if it does then I, I, I my mind is blown away if it does know what i'm talking about i think it does holy cow because i could have just removed and we know when it divides by 1000 or multiplies it by 1000 that's um trying to convert it into seconds so right now it's just re removing the multiplication by 1000 and just leaving it in milliseconds which is cool oh this is awesome this is like it's, al it's almost as if it's reading my mind like it's 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 following it's literally following the conversation following the instruction remembering what i asked before and executing my next request based on what i've asked which is incredible uh, let's open up the studio monitor open it back up all right so if you look at here so right now we're at milliseconds so this is wow so this hello world takes about one second to complete, which is a thousand milliseconds. Well, that's because we are also delaying, um, delaying, um, delaying a thousand times. So uh, let's see, let's see. So we reset it. Well, I guess you know what. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let me not think about this too much. All right, so the next questions we have is um, bot rate. Now we don't want the bot, uh, okay, we want it to say something as um, um, bot rate at, so let's see, let's type this in. Okay, so I have modified, I have copied, let's do another one. Control C, let's go back to, open AI and let's go ahead and I'm just going to say it here and um, see if it doesn't knows if it's able to do something with it without giving it any contest let's see if it's able to um, figure out what we are trying to do Look at that, it's going. Hello world, my name is Alfred. Yep, that would do it. Yep, that would do it. However, it looks like it uh, it only did um, the new request. Um, it did not include the elapsed time. So it looks like I would need to uh, add this to it time it took for the program to run um i could i could probably say how long did it took program to run uh, let's see if it's able to Yep, See, similar to what we saw before. So we know that is going to produce nice also dividing by a thousand, which will give us in seconds. I think I said multiplied by a thousand. It should be divided by a thousand because when we're in milliseconds, we need to divide by a thousand to get just seconds. Um, 
yeah that that did it again so that's essentially it um i believe we can we can pretty much say that we'll get similar results for the rest of this so uh, before we head out let me do something else so in, in not just um writing code uh op open ai can also like do some copy writing like um really writing really good uh, blogs for you and stuff like that so let's see uh let's ask it to ask you my youtube viewer to subscribe to the channel politely let's let, let's see how it, how it will um write that here's a few ways that you could politely ask your youtube viewers to subscribe to your channel if you enjoy this video please consider subscribing to my channel your support means a lot to me and help me to create more content like this i like it <laughs> i couldn't have i couldn't have done it any better don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join my community of followers i really appreciate your support and can't wait to share more videos with you wow if you are new here be sure to hit the subscribe button and join the family i'm constantly creating new content i don't know <laughs> I'm trying to constantly create. I hope you are enjoying the content on my channel. If you are, please consider subscribing and supporting me in my mission to create more engage, engaging and informative video. I like it. So you guys, you guys heard it from the AI. Subscribe to my channel. You know, let's let's do something. Um, say it in a comic way. Let's see. Let, let's see what that happens. Let's see what it says. This is incredibly cool. Like this will change everything. This is changing everything. I think I've actually recently used it for a listing that I was um, um, I was selling something and I wrote something super um, super you know basic and I asked OpenAI to write a formal um, list in the description for me and he, and he, did, he did just that here are a few ways that you could ask a youtube viewer to subscribe in a comic way hey if you are enjoying my video why not hit that subscribe button and turn this into a long time relationship <laughs> i promise i will keep making content that makes you laugh or at least try to <laughs> i like it i know you're probably thinking do I really need another YouTube channel in my life? But trust me, subscribing to mine is a decision you won't regret unless you do regret it. In which case, whoops. <laughs> this sounds like Elon Musk. <laughs> Look, I know you have got a lot of options when it comes to YouTube channel, but let's be real. You are not going to find someone as weary <laughs> and charming as me. That's true. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh so why not just go ahead and hit that subscribe button you know you want to <laughs> oh i love it i love it okay so the last one is okay fine i'll admit it i'm just a content creator trying to get more subscribers but come on can you really resist this face or oh, <laughs> insert adorable funny charming picture of a uh, girlfriend oh, yeah just hit that subscribe button and i promise it will make it what your wow i hope this suggestion bring this is this is cool this is cool you know what let's um let, let's write a description of this video um let's say write a youtube description of this con of this uh of this chat session let's see what it comes up with here's a sample digital illustration in this video i demonstrate how to use open air assistant to answer to a variety of questions about that doing oh my goodness from printing hello oh wow i'm definitely using this i couldn't have written it better this is incredible all right i will talk to you guys later i hope this was informative or i hope this was you know what you see i couldn't even do anything better let's let's go back to talk to you later bye bye